Richard Tucker, you represent over 600 estate agency branches with the uh, MD of the Relocation Agent Network. What are your thoughts on the way estate agents use the portals? Talk to me. The, the portals are clearly a big factor okay. in our industry. A necessary evil? Some may say that. Mm -hmm. um, I think from the consumer's point of view, uh, clearly they are extremely useful uh, to be able to see a holistic representation of mm -hmm. uh, the property that they're interested in uh, is cl clearly very helpful. I think, you know, if, I, if I'm an agent out there today and I'm paying to be on one of the portals, I'm going to make sure or I should be making sure I'm using absolutely every aspect that I'm paying for. And I'm not sure agents do do, do that fully. Um, I would make sure that I was very regularly seeing my account manager and that they were showing me, uh, training me on every, every new nuance tool, whatever it may be. And I'd want to absolutely make sure I was getting the value for money out of it. Okay, I'm sure this wouldn't happen with RAM members, but um, I'm going to throw you a few stats out which might surprise you. 48% um, of right move email inquiries remained unanswered by a firm that basically did the mystery shopping exercise. And 30% of free valuation, i.e. I, I want a valuation, went unanswered. Why do you think that is? I, I, I largely think, Chris, it's because they haven't got the systems organised correctly. I think to, you bang on there. I really do think you bang on. Um, do you think enough MDs actually uh, check that these things are being answered? Do you think that's something... You know, Again, do we, pro do we... probably not, because if I'm writing the cheque every month, um, then I should be checking to see what the output of that is. Um, I'm sure that most most good agents have systems in place to check the volume coming in, you know what the conversion yeah. rates are. Um, but again, how consistent okay. that is do you uh, think, is, is maybe up for question. Do you think the portals offer good value for money when the average spend is £950 per agent per office? I'm not sure I'm best placed to answer that question. You know, I, I read a an article in one of the uh, news trade trade press newsletters the other day that um, an agent's rent for their office was less than their um, the cost of, of being on one of the portals. Do you think it's their portals of value for money, Chris? It's, it's Tuckle versus Orkin. I love the tables are turned. I love it. Richard, you and I were both estate agents in the 90s. And back then, we had to both spend two... £300 a week on a page in the local newspaper. Now, two or £300 a week is probably five, £600 today. And if you weren't in the newspaper, you couldn't sell houses. And the purpose of the newspaper was to basically put properties in the paper so people could buy it. And all right movies is just a replacement for the newspaper where people, where your job, the job of the portal is to find, is to basically allow buyers and tenants to find your properties. Where I believe agents go wrong with portals, if you don't mind me saying, if I, you know, you ask the question, is this: they see it as a method to try and attract new business to them by getting more valuations. And I believe you should not judge a portal by the amount of valuation leads it gives you. You should be doing something else. You, you're if you don't mind me saying you're lazy as an estate agent if you believe that Rightmove is there to produce free valuation leads. All its job is there is to get the properties in front of people, to get them sold. You should be doing other activities to get more valuations. Does that answer your question? Yes. Thanks very much, Chris. Thank you.